What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Stray the Brute Daniels. Here with some more news. Happy Thursday to you all. Well, last year, the Hawkeye show came and went to much, you know, a whisper. <laughs> but from it is spawning the Echo show. Don't you remember the memorable character of Echo? Who? Yep, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but um, with Disney plummeting and burning to the ground, there was a lot of rumors that a lot of the Disney Plus shows are going to be axed. But it looks like Echo will survive. And uh, shout outs to Decider. It looks like Marvel's Echo will be dropping all the episodes at once. Hold up. And, you know, the original Netflix model, just dropping them all in one clean shot and let you binge them all the way through. And they are saying it's a good thing. What? Interesting. So let's check out this article and get down to the meat of and the potatoes okay this article picks up to be more specific disney plus decided to drop all six episodes of echo at once is not inherently a bad thing oh no it would be very easy to assume and plenty of people are that this is a sign that disney and marvel don't have faith in echo yes that would be a sign in that but let's go on and the fact that there have been a number of behind the scenes rumblings and production troubles doesn't help However, the glass half full <laughs> scenario, there are plenty of reasons why this isn't a bad sign and could ultimately be the best thing to happen to Echo. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to hear what what, what, what the reasoning is going to be. Because I, for one, had no interest in watching this show in the beginning with, so I've got no dog in this fight. But let's see. Alright, let's see what we got here. First, there are those very same production trouble rumors they emerged in December 2022. After his EP, Marion Dare released that Echo would debut in late 2023 as opposed to summer 2023. All the words about Echo seem overblown and retro. Oh, oh my god. Especially since we now know that all Marvel TV's output was pushed back half a year. It wasn't just Echo. Secret Invasion and Loki were also delayed. The only difference is that their, that their writers didn't hint at those delays on a podcast. Oh, for crying out loud. This... This isn't an Echo problem. This is a Disney Plus issue. The content has not been bringing in the numbers that stockholders want. That's why things have been pushed back to try to spruce things up or to give some leeway to try to improve things. This doesn't show that Echo is going to be a good show. This just shows that Disney Plus is freaking floundering. The article continues. It's also possible that Echo was never intended for a weekly release. Oh, come on. Marvel's had a hard time building and sustaining buzz for any of their projects over the past year. That is true. Regardless of quality. Uh, okay. 2022's TV shows Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk, Attorney of Law were met with a confusing cluster reaction. Confusing cluster? No, it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> they hated it. Or didn't watch it at all. It's not, there's no confusion. <laughs> to put it lightly. Oh, that's the word you want to use. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not what happened. You can make the case for all three of them being successes or failures citing drastically different metrics. What? Which is not the point of this article. Echo is an even riskier series than those three since it has no big stars and a lead character with the least name recognition of any Marvel Studio show. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's all right. To go and if, if even if you want to compare those numbers with Moon Knight and Miss Marvel and She Hulk, that's not that, that doesn't help your argument. Um, those uh, shows were from mediocre to straight up trash. And in Miss Marvel's case, no one even watched it. So, you know, that's not the best track record. And Disney is looking at those numbers and seeing that things are not tracking the way they want. Of course. This is simple math. So ultimately, what do I think about Echo and, and this dropping all six episodes? I think that Disney understands the reality of the situation that they cannot sustain an audience. Um, they, they know through plenty of data at this point that people are not rushing over their streaming service they, they're losing millions of of subscribers every time you look up the shows that they have produced have been subpar to mediocre to absolute garbage and people aren't into it people have checked out miss marvel's got to be what one of the least watched shows that's ever been put on the disney plus show she hulk is one of the greatest abominations of our time 
Moon Knight, which had some high points, but had a lot of low points, and also a lot of people did not endear themselves to the character, which is kind of sad, because personally in the comics I like Moon Knight, but it is what it is. The numbers are the numbers, and I think dropping all six episodes is the only way you're going to get sustainable watching time, because people aren't returning week after week to watch these shows. If people wanted to watch regular television, they just watch network TV, not streaming. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's all I really got to say on that matter. Um, will this show be a success? I don't care. I'm not going to watch it. But, you know, for those that are into it and people that might check it out, let me know what you think. What do you think about this news of dropping the six episodes at once? Let me know in the comment section below. And do all those great YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. As always, you guys have been awesome, and I'll catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out SpinWiz.com or download the SpinWiz app and check out my comic series, Trouble. It was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish. So whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again and check it out.